I'm laughing. Benjamin says, show's late. I couldn't be more surprised if I woke up with my head sewn to the carpet. (laughs) (laughs) You're all assholes, just so you know. Uh, Greetings. Welcome to Wednesday, May 22nd, in the first week of Howard's well, well well-deserved time off. Amen. Amen. We get the well-deserved time off. Before he bangs out, what, two, three weeks of, of show, and then he's gone for the next two months. Um, you know, as we've said before, we're super excited for his trip to Italy, especially considering the fact that some volcanic eruptions may or may not happen. It's not going to be anywhere near him, though. <sighs> oh, but if that, if that sucker goes, dude, it's going to screw up a lot of stuff. It like, is. Legit, if he hears that there's like bed bugs on on friggin' Capri, he would make that as an excuse to not go to Italy. You know him, you know. Yes, him. I, yes we we know the Pelican. Yes, yes, no, we know, we know. So yeah, so we decided to do a show tonight. Um, even though we didn't really, we don't really have anything to talk about, and you Wait, know, are we breaking into our own show? Yeah, we're doing a break in show. Yes, and it counts yeah. as a show. Yes, we're breaking. <laughs> yes, we're breaking. <laughs> joke. Own show, um, and I have Bon Jovi here, so there's that. And I'm gonna- <laughs> so we're breaking into our own show to just talk about. Okay, yeah. So you might ask where the outfit is, and I I started out with the outfit on, and anybody who follows me on Instagram knows that I wore the most ridiculous outfit to dinner tonight. Um, yes, it was on, and now yeah, it's gone. Well, well, it was hot, and I still have the pants on. So here, so you can see my ridiculous. Where, then, where were you going? Like Jimmy Buffett's? I mean, <laughs> no, I was just, I was, I bought this outfit and I thought I'd wear it tonight. And Cha Cha Coconuts? I mean, <laughs> I love Cha Cha. Do you know I just found out that Cha Cha Coconuts was owned by uh, Columbia Group? By Columbia Group? Yes. I did not know that until maybe like a week ago. I've never been there, but I'm just saying I did not know that. It was pretty good. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, you know. So anyway, yeah. So I was wearing my cute little outfit, my matching two-piece pajama set, and then I got a little flustered and a little hot down here. So I ran really quickly upstairs and I put on um, a t-shirt and a pair of glasses, and so here I am. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, so we're doing a show tonight about absolutely nothing. But what we decide, what we decided the show would be about, is the fantastic uh, interview. That Benji did with Beth many, many moons ago. Thank you, Ida. And Ida, by the way, I will tell you that, as you know, I went on Instagram and said, okay, is this a ridiculous outfit or is it cute? And so everybody voted and said, no, it's cute, even though it is kind of ridiculous. And I will tell you that I went out to dinner tonight and at least 10 people at least 10 people, if not more, said, oh, my God, that is the cutest freaking outfit. Where did you get it? And literally, uh, this is one of those times where TikTok made me buy it because I would never spend the money for like a very, very top designer outfit like this when you can buy it really cheap and say, OK, yeah, it's cute. You know, it's not Gucci or anything stupid like that. It's just a good, stupid outfit. So yeah, that's that's how it rolls. And I'd, I highly recommend that you go out and get yourself one because I'm telling you, everybody's going to tell you it's a yeah, cool. I look cute in that. And I wore and I just wore the Stan Smiths with it. So yeah, so it was it was super cute, like that, like that. So yeah, so we're going to do the Benji interviewing Beth. And it was curious when I heard the interview when I was doing the uh, edit of it today. I realized that that was the week that she was doing like her big promo tour for the Yoda book. And Rachel Ray came in the same day as this. Not that I, I recorded that as well. I cut it out just so we could do the Benji interview, but Rachel Ray came in and gave like a half a million dollars to Beth's furry, stupid friends. So she was going on the Rachel Ray show after she went with Howard or she was going to lunch with him or some uh, with her or something like that. And then uh, that week, she was also doing the Whitney Cummings interview on AOL. And for those of you that are not aware, yours truly went to the AOL. Oh, yes. yes. I I took a half a hooky day from work and I went down to the AOL offices 
And by the way, it was freezing that day. I, I remember this distinctly. Yeah, you had you had on your uh, very big uh, winter clothing at that point. I did have very big winter clothing on. Yes, I did. And it was a very, very cold day. And I went to this thing. So we're going to play a little bit of that as well. Because it was kind of fun. So, so the Rachel Ray thing, that whole food thing, the whole dog food, cat food thing she did, all that was is a money laundering. All that was was money laundering. It literally... It's all. just giving money, laundering money to people who are laundering money. Exactly. It's all a, it's all a circle jerk. I mean, seriously. And then she sold it for a bunch of money and laundered everything. Did she sell it? I didn't know she that. Did sell it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they, because they, I haven't really heard about her doing the nutrition. And I hate the names. The name lot. is annoying. The food is garbage. Delish, nutrish, all nutrition. that. Shit. It's it's Noise. garbage. It is it's literally garbage. If you hate your noise. animal, feed it to this. Mm. Yeah. No, not for me. <laughs> not for me so yeah so we're gonna get into all of that tonight and and kind of discuss it uh, guys you know about the outfit and i'm sorry i, I should have kept the shirt down here but i had to change really really quickly um yeah highly recommend here i'll show it to you on instagram so show it to you on stupid gram so you can see what i was stupid. 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 oh hey xavier hi oh Which, hello there oh, hi oh, that's xavier. hi xavier Hey, hey. Uh, you, you know what? I was lost in the, the magic of you guys talking. Oh, yeah. Let's but back. actually, I was just reading about, you know, because remember uh, yeah, Yoda <laughs> and was a book, right? And she had, she had another cat named Grogu that both of them, I think, were uh, ate a little too much. Uh, Did Grogu die? Know? I don't even know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Grogu, Grogu actually yeah, died Grogu before Yoda. <laughs> I have the pants on, and that's the whole outfit. And I know it was kind of. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you should be serving me dim sum. I mean, right? One would think, but you know what? It was super. Is that cheap. silk? It's no, it's actually not. I told you I bought it on TikTok, which means oh, okay. you bought it on TikTok. I bought it on TikTok. TikTok. Is it from the Kung Fu Panda collection? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu, Fa Kung Fu Panda 4. So here's the difference. So polyester, you know, when they, hot. when they print on polyester, that's why you get like a full white backing. That's how you know yeah. it's like a, a, a fabric that's not uh, man-made um, because that's really the only fabrics that you can do these like sublimated prints on. So that's why they do it. And the color comes out really super bright and whatever. But you know what? Nobody knows. Who cares? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so, so let's talk about Benji. So Benji was very excited to interview Beth, and he apparently came to the team to say, hey, I have an idea. I would like to interview Beth, and, you know, she's got this new book coming out, and I think the timing is right for me to have this talk with her. And as I'm listening to it, and I didn't listen to the whole thing because I wanted to kind of not really listen to it too much and be a little bit surprised by it. Um, Apparently, Robin was absolutely like Twatilius Maximus during this whole thing, like totally like cock blocking and trying to protect Beth from Benji and weird stuff like that. And, you know, it just goes back to the whole thing we've always said about how Robin is completely and utterly in love with Howard and then by proxy, probably Beth as well, because she has nothing of her own. And so she was really defending Beth against Benji when Beth clearly didn't need it. And Beth, in turn, when they started the interview, did the classic thing that I have gotten censored for before. So just so you know, there was a classic time where Beth did an interview on some dude's Channel 2 show. And he was like a replacement uh, host for the late night show that wound up going to that James Corden dude. Mm -hmm. you remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 that one. And she was very much the one asking all the questions, thinking she was in charge of the whole thing. Um, they've never really released it on like Instagram or anything like that or YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we played it and immediately got censored for it. Immediately. Like, mm -hmm. like two seconds. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my that was god. The, that, that was literally its most cringe worthy uh appearance ever. And and ever. I mean that's a pretty high bar. Ever. Hi Lisa. Hi, sweetheart. We haven't seen you in a thousand years. Miss you so so much, really. I'm so glad to see you here. So hi. 
Just wanted to do that little shout out. Yeah, and uh, this was uh, yeah, this happened a while ago, Lisa. So. Yeah, that we're going back to 2014, I think. That's mm -hmm. that's around the calendar the calendar time too. Everything's going on at this time period. Yeah, 2014 is Everything. where it was peak was peak Beth Stern. Yes. And, you know, she was doing lots of interviews. She had the stupid book out, which was coming off the heels of Oh My Dog, because you know, she's such an expert on all things. And the MasterCard that. commercial. Yes. And, uh, and yeah. So it's, it's, <laughs> what an so answer. I'm thinking we get started a little bit and uh, see where it takes us. So let's let's go to the bed. So this is this is after Benji does like a little bit of a prequel thing, kind of saying how nervous he's so nervous. You know, you would think he's so into nervous. like in queen of England, so nervous, so freaked out that he's going to be doing this interview and then he gets right into it. And then it was really weird how Beth started, uh, Admitting things. It was very weird. Today, it's out today. It's I'm exciting. So excited. Oh, today. Today. This is it. She had a big triumphant book signing last yeah. night over in Jersey. A lot of people showed up. They ran out of books. Yeah, which is Marianne was there. Marianne Do you know who else was there? Double A. Remember him? Double A. Double a. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Sweet. Who forgets him? And uh, it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That people came out and they <laughs> ran out of books. Uh, there's also a they thing. Marianne Garvey did an article in the Daily News about Beth and the book and the oh. story of the book. But uh, more importantly, my photograph is used where I, I, I always do this. Beth said, I need a picture with Yoda, our cat, because the book is about Yoda. Oh, it's a beautiful picture. So, of course, I had Beth in panties with Yoda. I slowly undress throughout our photo yes. shoots. I start out in <laughs> gowns and scarves, and then all of a sudden, I'm in my brown underwear. And uh, that's the picture they use. So, uh, what can I tell you? <laughs> Thank I'm, you, honey. I kind of know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's absolutely true. Now, uh, so the book promotion is uh, Yoda, the story of a cat and his kittens. It's available now, as I said it's a fundraiser it's a it's to make money for this wonderful wonderful project uh, also um my wife will be signing copies of yoda today at the books of wonder on 18th street in manhattan at 6 p.m if you have some time go over it's say a hello. children's bookstore it's so much fun so if you have kids bring your kids i may even read the book to everybody read the book oh my god I read the book. you'll you'll read your 12 minute book to everybody I'll read read it. yeah it salaciously in the book Where's and the picture of it at costco with no one there okay. you know i thought i had it up beth stern it's a it's an easy reading for those who couldn't conquer one fish two fish red fish, <laughs> <three> fish. <laughs> when, when one fish two fish is too difficult yes yes yes, yes. There she is best getting copies of her book my buddy That's the entire crowd Sold out. They sold out of the book. Well, it, there's one where it is just all by itself at Costco. Like literally, there is no one. Oh my god, look at that mouth. Good lord, last time I've seen a mouth like that, I hook in it. That's crazy. Oh, so cute. I bought a gift for you. You had. Well, I thought the, I, I got a gift for me. <laughs> you had me at meow. It, it, it says you had me at meow. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to the. <laughs> There's much to be discussed. There's so much mining here. There is so much to mine. You know, it's like it's well, weird there it is because, Costco. <laughs> like we all love animals, but the whole Yoda saga was so contrived and so self-serving. Yes. It's yes. just like in the in the animal had a horrible death on top. Yes, of it. I mean nobody wishes it's being on obese. Pet, but man, dude. <laughs> You know, if only um, if I can find the if actually one of you can do it for me while I'm playing clips, I would love it. Meaning, uh, what? What do you mean? Dennis, if you can find the um, Benjamin Yoda thing that he did, uh, that was absolutely ridiculous. It was uh, so. Oh, oh, the um... Benjamin did a Yoda book reading. Um, oh, oh, okay. Where he did the artwork, it was it's actually pretty phenomenal. It's it's probably one of the best things that's ever been put onto our uh, our site. To be honest with you, is it still on the site? No, it's on YouTube. Uh, oh, okay. So you need to. <sighs> there's so much to go to this. I mean, there's just so much. Ah. There's just so much. It's quiet, you. There's so much ridiculous. 
good. Okay. Okay. No, no need, no need to, to take a, a, a fit. I didn't think uh, it I almost Beth, basically. Hi, I'm Beth Stern, and I'm going to be reading my children's book based on our rescue cat, Yoda. Rescue, Yoda, yeah, okay. Cat and his kittens, illustrated by the wonderful Devin Crane. So I want you to know, just so you know, so when you go to Simon Kids um, and all these people, like, read aloud their books and everything, everybody does it. Everybody does it oh, in look. landscape. Everybody like has the words to it. Everybody reads along with the book <gasps> and okay. everybody, everybody does it like this. Not our beefus. She's the only one who does it in portrait mode. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. And the entirety yes. of the book is read in six minutes and 41 seconds. And that's in Beth voice. So, you know, in Beth voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely torture for. Do you remember when we did our book? It was Mr. Whisker shoots heroin into his cock. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about you know IV uh, safety for kids. Oh my God, you're a horrible, horrible human being. <laughs> absolutely a horrible human being. Yoda, the story of Cat and his kittens. God, Benjamin, where is your? I'm looking. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Just look for Benjamin, and you you will probably find it it's just delicious so i'm just gonna let uh dennis keep looking for it so i am looking because it's really it's probably one of the best things we've ever done he, All right. ours, he did say that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, it might say years ago that writing a children's book is the easiest thing on the planet absolutely yeah. Well, this is this is true. And and didn't she get it like a ghostwriter or some crap like that on top it, of it? It didn't even write it. it write Somebody it else wrote it. it. Do you really think that she can write? Do you really think? Oh, no, absolutely it, not. It used whiteout on a on a computer screen yes, using absolutely. Microsoft Word. Yoda book. I can find it. Jet man. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see. I need to uh, because you know I'm a little bit OCD, and so we need to. Uh, find it. Let's go to the interview. Okay. Somebody will find that on us. Let's go to the interview. All right, here we go. So Benjamin comes in, Benji comes in and starts talking to Beth. Beth, of course, turns the entire thing around and starts interviewing him. And then he starts asking his questions. So here we go. To everyone. Yeah, right? That's yeah. a good idea. And yeah. bring the kids. And uh, and uh, this will go to a no-kill animal shelter, a whole floor where the animals don't have to live in cages. Uh, also, Beth will be interviewed his by house. Today, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. in addition to Benji Bronk. Wow. Uh, At the a okay, so just take a note of that, that she's going to be interviewed by Whitney Cummings today as well. So she's very busy. <laughs> OL Bells. So it's a live stream on AOL at 2 p.m. today. And oh. Whitney is one of my closest <laughs> friends. So we're going to have oh. I think yes. she's so and she knows Yoda and she's seen me at work fostering. So and and but. so this promotional blitz will go to the book. And part of the promotional blitz includes having Benji interview. You know, Benji, uh, Benji's Look at excited. Benji standing. I'm so nervous. What, I, uh, so I'm at my book signing last night. Ninety percent of the people that came. Are you nervous? Are you nervous for what? The book? Yeah. And they're like, no, your big interview tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and why would I be nervous? No, no, this? I'm nervous. And they're like, how are you feeling? That's the big question. I'm like, excited. This is fun. Yeah. Well, Benji, they I'm say, ready. how are you feeling? Because that's Benji. Big so Here she is at Costco with like four people. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. the picture I want. <laughs> people went there for out. hot dogs and they, hey, look, what's going on over here? Really? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you looking for weird. the lady with the samples? Oh, oh, I didn't know that. What are samples? It's a transvestite over there. <laughs> doing a lot of pressure. You have a conversation with Beth. There's no pressure here. I'm going to try and sit it out. You look good, Benji. Thank you. Yeah, you always think Benji looks good. I know. I always say that you're really, you've got great eyes and you look really cute in baseball cap. All eyes. Thank so, you. Thank you. I, I see, even hearing my voice, I'm so nervous. Like, my heart's, can you hear it? So nervous. <laughs> no, no one wants to get that close. Oh. What's going on with your relationship? Uh, Elisa last night. Like, look at how she twisted around. This is, this is very much a Howard playbook type of thing to do. It's all about him. Because you know she 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 needs to be in control of the situation. She needs to be in control of of what's happening and what the storyline is, so that it um it <clears throat> puts his defenses down a little. They bit. brought me That's over like, like two in the morning. We're we're not living together right now. Okay. And 
that he's talking about him. Uh, I got and, a text uh, like a fairy him. came by my door to leave a surprise, and it was like she brought me a balloon and like wow. these, this like uh, you know good luck this, for this, today. This, yeah, She's yeah, so yeah, yeah. She knows how she knows how nervous I am. How so. did that make you feel? Oh, it made me feel uh, like, incredible. Oh. That's interviewing. <laughs> Don't interrupt the interview, Rob. Are you um, are you in love with her? Yeah, I, I completely love her. Yeah, you I'm, love her, or are you, in love, are you in love with I'm her? I'm both. She would say, not in love. She, she would say that about you to her. Well, no, more so about her about me. Probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. By the way, I found them. I found the entire trilogy. I'm absolutely oh, yay, thank you. them because um, there's a potential that those could actually come down at some point. Um, I, I, we almost need to see the original so that you can appreciate the, the other. Well, you actually don't need it. You actually don't need it. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't know this. It's yeah. a man's world. No, no, no. She, it's a woman's world. He's saying that she would say she loves Benji, but she's not in love with him. Oh, because he treats her horribly. I did. Well, at we the, don't know at the beginning. Word. I was really horrible. He's fat too. I, I am fat. I got real fat, and that's gross. Like I, I can't imagine anyone being attracted to me physically. My face. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I, my face, I can imagine it, but not like my physical. Appearance. Then why don't you do something about it? Um, like, shut up, Beth. Okay. So, so Monique, yeah. you know the funny thing is, though, at least you know they're talking about his face. Elisa likes to uh, likes to hit those, so he has a nice big one to punch. Oh my god, so punchable! I'm a food He's addict. So I'm trying to. I, I'm a food addict. I'm a sex addict. I'm. I'm a... <laughs> Release himself. Could it be that simple? I don't know. <laughs> I'm staying out. Uh, of this. Oh, you're not talking. I'm not, this is Benji's interview. <laughs> um, no, I'm not ever jealous about that. Oh, no, 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 no. I never. And I, 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 I'm not. A, I, I can't imagine cheating because just I, I have to be kind of honest about everything. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of a big problem at the beginning of the relationship because I would say, "Oh, I see that girl. I want to fuck her. I want to fuck her. I want to fuck her." Well, that's wonderful conversation. Oh, wow. I would be so turned on. Yeah. Yeah, be so <laughs> Can you great. imagine if I came home and said to you, I want to fuck her and fuck her and fuck her? I, I did that for about six months. And, and she put up with that? It was horrible. And then I completely stopped. So and I, all because, I realized all because like, I was torturing her and I was being that. horrible. But actually, that's something I want to ask you yeah, about yeah. with Howard. Mm -hmm. ah. Howard talks about masturbation on the air. Is that Are you cool with that? Absolutely. Is is he a sex addict? No, I think he likes sex. And when I'm not there on evenings, if he needs to go to sleep, he needs to release himself. Could it be that simple? I don't know. I'm staying I'm out like, of it. Oh, you're not talking. I'm not, this is Benji's interview. <laughs> um, no, I'm not ever jealous about that. I don't know why I'm jealous, but I'm never upset by. It. She actually has like a speech impediment of. Something. Oh, it does. <laughs> well, you know what it is. It's because her father just jammed those teeth right in the, right in that big horse face. Um, the thing is, it is happy that, well, it's the only sex he gets because I doubt there's actually any type of real, any, once the hook was set, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, intimacy between the die was cast, if you will, the die was cast. Exactly. So it, it almost giggled when he, she, when he asked a question to it, it almost giggled about the mess because it's like, well, duh, because this is the way he's going to get off. I, I feel like you have a very healthy, active sex life. Um, and I forgot to ask. I was supposed to ask you about your, your favorite childhood song. Is this? Uh, this is such a weird part of this whole thing. Her favorite childhood song. Does anybody remember this? Because this is a great quiz question if we ever did like a. No, I, I absolutely don't remember. Beth or Howard. It's so insane. It's so insane. Oh, this is. Oh, I don't have a ch favorite childhood song. But Why? You, what are you gonna you do, do? Play? I like, oh, no, no, I like, you said with the one with your dad. Your dad oh, yeah, but you. it was really my brother's song. He was. You can't even imagine this, honestly, you guys. And uh, as for some of you who've never heard this before, it's actually uh, quite amazing. I would sing a song to my brother called "Little Green Fuck Fuck Birdie." Fuck Fuck Birdie. Yeah, and he would sing it, and but I can't remember the tune. And I remember I always wished my dad would sing that to me, but it was really my brother. So I was obsessed with "Little Green Fuck Fuck Birdie." Who was "Little Green Fuck Fuck"? Birdie? I think my dad made it up, and I think. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I've never heard of this in my entire life. You never heard about Fuck Fuck Birdie? Yeah, yeah a little green. A little green. Fuck Fuck, Fuck Birdie. Birdie. That his uh, that must its be an father. East Coast thing. That its father sang to, to its brother. brothers. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's completely utterly normal. That's normal. 
I don't know that the father was exactly normal with them growing I'm up. Did he, did he say, and if you are a boy, be, be strong, be I was brave. At some point. But but let's listen. Let's continue. He did send the son to Penn State. So. Yeah. Really young. No, because you said once that you, your dad got you Howard's, your brother's Howard's books. I bought, so here's like the whole history of her claiming to not know who Howard is, but kind of knew who he was, but not necessarily. She knew she knew exactly who she was bagging when when she saw um, what's his face at that party. Um, Crazy Cabby. No, no, yeah, exactly. Oh, Crazy oh, Ralph. Cabby. Ralph, she knew exactly Wasn't what Crazy she Cabby at the thing. No, right. You know what? DJ crazy on that right now. And Am I imagining that shit? You he, might be. He knew all about it. I mean, he did know. Yeah, yeah. He seemed to have the scoop on it. I feel like he was, but let's listen. I my, my I bought my father Howard's books for the holidays when they came out because my father and my brothers were big fans. Oh, okay, okay. You got that confused? I thought you were real upset when he got it for him. No. Okay, no, okay, I okay. wasn't. I mean, I was aware of Howard Stern on the radio, the crazy guy, but I wasn't a, a listener. But my father and brothers were huge fans, and when the books came out, they were thrilled to get them for do, Christmas. Do you remember at what age you first became aware of Howard? No, but I guess r- about one of the, the w- when Private Parts came out, because I think that's like we got him that for Christmas, my dad. So, that- wait, wait, wait. yeah, time out. Yeah, yeah. So, wait, I, I'm trying to remember this. Was Howard ever on in? Pittsburgh. He was never on in Pittsburgh, correct? It's a very good question. I don't think he was ever on in Pittsburgh. He was in Cleveland for a short amount of time. Let me find out. No, I don't think he's Pittsburgh. ever been in. He was ever in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. How can they be such big fans when there really was, especially Ooh, in the early nineties, there really wasn't a lot of media on him outside of New York, maybe Channel Nine. I don't know. Um, Let's see. It says here, Howard Stern he back was. any when? markets including M I N E in Pittsburgh, Clear Station Channel. When? 5.9. This post was made in. Hold on, I'm trying to find the date on this. 2011. But what what year was he actually on there? Because he he didn't go the full big syndication till around when the oh around when the movie. This is absolutely wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's what I'm looking at. Let me just show you. It's from June 30th, 2004. Okay. Clear Station Channel, you can kiss my white hair. Yes, I've fish taken over my car's dial. And now it's K Rock, Rock of Pittsburgh, 93.7 is on. 93.7, new station, Stern is on. Pittsburgh again, finally. Um, yeah, there you go. This is Jedi Defender Forums. They were very excited that Howard Stern back in many markets, including Emma, uh, including mine in Pittsburgh. So yeah. and it had to be toward the later part of the syndication deals in the later nineties, right? Yeah, it's two thousand four. So he was Rupert Pumpkin on. says that Mark Friggin indicates W R K Z. Yeah. So yeah, he was on. I mean, obviously, so we know that. So okay, that's that's that. Thank you, Sunflower. Thank you so much. You. No, here says she bought Howard's book, but previously I think it was the newlywed thing. She said her brother bought Howard's book. I know. Yeah. The Oops. details here are always very, very sketchy. They're fluid. Everything's yeah. fluid with these two. Yes, exactly. Very. So just got to kind of grin and bear with us, and, and let's continue on. Here How old was I? I don't know what year the private parts came out. Neither do I. <laughs> they came out in 96. No, that's, no, that's when the book, the, movie, the movie, movie came out. Oh, you mean the book. When the, the book, book. Came, book came out in 93. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. And I was born in 72. So you were so. probably 21. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm I, I, sure I was aware of Howard Stern Michael. prior to that. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I'm sure I was aware of Howard Stern prior to that. What? You must declare that your pa- your father and your brothers were huge, huge fans. I'm sure I was aware of him prior to that. Yeah, that makes no sense. It, nothing makes sense. Everything is like a half truth. Or mostly lie. Obfuscation. Sure, I was aware. I, I absolutely was aware of him way before that. I, 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 I'm, hold, on, I'm hold on one second. Ho- my Robin, answer. how is this interview going? With it ben? was good for a moment. When I was in okay. a <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. How, how was sex with her? When you with were Elisa? Together? Yeah. For me? Yeah. Oh, for me, I would say it was incredible. Going around again. She didn't like it. So why were you saying you wanted to fuck with other girls? I. If you were having this active, beautiful love. So weird, you know. Oh. 
once I really honed in on her speech impediment, which is kind of weird. It's hard. It's it, it's there. Yeah. You almost can't not hear it. Yeah. I don't I don't even know what it is though exactly. I don't so, know if it's her lips flapping against her teeth. It's those giant, it's all those teeth in that mouth. It and is. it's just exactly. too much. That's going and, and for low IQ, the big teeth. And I looked up and the E show didn't start till 1994. So okay. I don't, and the book came out the same year. I don't know how there were such giant fans. But but it might have been on the radio. I'm not sure. The only, the only the only thing that makes it. sense is the Channel Nine because like here in San Diego, that's how I became aware of Howard. Oh, really? Channel Nine show? Yeah, cause it was it was uh, it, was it was all cable. over like on, on PBS or one of those. Oh, I didn't the, know that. The weird. I really thought that was just like a local thing. I didn't realize that. No, no, the Channel Nine show you can get on different cables. It was all over the place. WWOR. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was our local channel. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was the local channel, but it was just syndicated as such. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's Honestly, just, I, mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's but very, that's, I'm just guessing. Now. What do it I doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna it really give, doesn't. I'm going to give her a pass on her brothers and father knowing who he was. I don't give her a pass on not really knowing who he is. Like, the fact that you bought your father the private parts, what book for his birthday? Is that what? Yes, the book, in, which came out in '93, which is before the E show came out. And I, I just, I everything's just so fluid on this. It doesn't make any sense. It lies like a rug. I mean, it it knew who Howard Stern was. Obviously, when it had its hooks out and it went to that dinner party and made uh, sure it was there. Let's continue. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. I thought you should tell, like, I thought that was like a relationship. You should tell the woman everything you're feeling at the moment, that you shouldn't censor yourself, that you should be able to share every fantasy. What? And be able to talk about those things, which you probably can. Like, I don't know if you and Howard ever talk about oh, fantasizing about someone. Or... I, I don't fantasize about anyone. I feel so sexless and happy. I, I look at other men that I find attractive. I think he looks at other women and he finds them attractive. I <laughs> fantasize about being any with anyone other than my husband do you think howard ever fantasizes about other women sure probably when he masturbates when i'm not home so oh ralph do do men and women look at sex differently i think so like do you before you're with howard did you ever see a man on the street or see a man in movie and get turned on physically um i cheated on every one of my boyfriends except for howard for real no (sighs) wow I'm not necessarily sure <clears throat> in any uh, circumstance or uh, under any kind of questioning that I would actually admit to that. Yeah, that I mean, that's like breaking down on the cross cross examination. I mean, that's that was like, no. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Seriously, uh, I, mean, uh, I don't. I don't know how to. Edgy. I think it wanted to sound yeah edgy, and it wanted to sound like it 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 it, it it's um it's a hot property, and, and and that you know this is such a true love. She's but promoting it, it obviously a children's backfired. book. The best it's a children's book she's promoting. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> the best part about this to me is what you'll hear momentarily is Howard actually defending her. Of course, <laughs> being a whore. I just remember, a whore. <laughs> Only or, person or, or. that Howard is the only person she has never cheated on. Ever. <laughs> and let's continue on. I'm just going sure. back a little bit. Shouldn't censor yourself. That you should be able to share every fantasy and be able to talk about those things, which you probably can. Like I don't know if you and Howard ever talk about oh, fantasizing about someone. I, I don't fantasize about anyone. I feel so safe and happy. I, I look at other men that I find attractive. I think he looks at other women and he finds them attractive. I don't fantasize about being any with anyone other than my husband. Do you think Howard ever fantasizes about I can other almost women? see how it's sure, touching probably when he masturbates when I'm not home. So. <laughs> so is do men and women look at sex? differently i think so like, yeah. like do you before yeah. you're with howard did yeah. you ever see a man on the street or see a man in movie and get turned on physically um i cheated on every one of my boyfriends except for howard for real mm-hmm. really? i met howard my cheating days and you're a cheater i was a cheater i am admitting that here really do yeah. they do they know that do all the guys i believe most of them know and if not i'm sure they're gonna find out now why do you think you were a cheater like what, what would never, lead to the cheating i was never 
satisfied, 100% satisfied in my relationship. With the they sex gave, or the relationship? Gave, each one of the relationships gave me reason to not believe that that was the right relationship for me. Is Are you cheating on right now? So, that you know about Howard? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, am I, what? No, I'm, I'm kidding around. But like, <laughs> the day what? I met Howard, I never thought to be with, wanted, you, had the desire to be The day you met Ch Howard, were you cheating on someone? Oh, I, oh, no, 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 no. I was seeing someone, but not, we weren't in an exclusive relationship. So no, I was not cheating on anyone at the time. What is, was I? No. Wow, it is so fluid. First of all, I, I have a feeling the other relationships didn't work out when the check stopped. Um. Because that know. seems that she seems never she never dated anybody who had even a resemblance of money, Dennis. I no, think it, it did. Like I think it always looked for somebody with right? cash. Never. She I never think it dated did. anybody. It, maybe she perceived in her mind that he was somebody who had money, but in the big scheme of people who had a big fish, none of them were somebody. Well, who it, remember, it was playing in the minor leagues, and it and it. I guess it was. I guess it was Swift. realizing double A. Double A. Exactly. That, and, and it realized every time that it was kind of, you know, going out with a 200 hitter that was going to make it to the majors. The could do. So there were no checks. There were no checks. She was well, barely getting by. She was barely getting by. And and I would I would dare say that if she didn't have a boyfriend helping her fund her apartment, her daddy was still helping her. For oh, sure. I guarantee that. Sure, her daddy was still helping. Her. Oh, absolutely, because you know, he was triple billing Medicare to make sure it could give him, yeah. give, him give him money. Let us continue. Uh, my kids in New York. I need to do some yeah. fraud. Listen, listen. A lot of people pay for their kids to live in apartments in the my, city. My kids got to eat. Yeah, twenty-seven-year-old <laughs> kids. Yeah, it's a common thing. But 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 yeah, exactly. Wait, you were I was dating. I was dating a few right. people. So no, no. So when when you would cheat, so, you're right, the last... so he's asking basically whether or not he she was cheating on somebody with Howard when she met Howard, mm -hmm. and she says that she was actually dating somebody, but not they were not well, exclusive. Don't so... they call that? Don't they call that like when you just write a check and you, they come with you to dinner dating? You know what I mean. Abby said the that. same thing. Wasn't she on a date with some guy from like, Australia yes, you know, in New Zealand? Yes, he at a dinner party. He met her, and they went to the dinner party. Yeah. <laughs> Is are you cheating on someone with Howard right now that he doesn't even know about Howard or? Oh, am I what? No, I'm, I'm kidding around. But like, I, the day what? I met Howard, I never thought to be with wanted you, had the desire the to be with The day you met Howard, were you cheating on someone? Oh, I oh no 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 no. I was yeah. seeing someone, but not. We weren't in an exclusive right. relationship. Girlfriend so, experience. Yes, you know, right. I'm, 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 what is it? Was I? No, I was. You were. You were dating. I was dating. I was dating a few right. people. So no, oh, no. no. So when when you would cheat in your like the last time in your relationship because I. This, but it was like over ten years ago when you cheated last. Uh, well, Howard and I've been together over fifteen years. I'm sorry, fifteen so this years. Was a really oh, what year is this? Year I was single. And this is 2014, right? Over fifteen years puts it way before the actual start. Which hey, is hey, Mo, quick. Um, well, Ninety-eight in the, over fifteen years. In the private chat, I did one of those. Who was she dating? And I, we've all seen it. And they even have a wrong picture. But you see the dudes that she was dating. And when you look at it, it's like tell me. Which one of these guys does not fit into the, her taste? It's the uh, who dated. <laughs> but it's funny that you have her picture. It's really like they got someone else's picture over on it. That's uh, I know who that is. Here, that's oh, that's actually a pretty. That's actually a but pretty look at girl. Picture. But look at but okay, scroll down. These are the guys she cheated on. Which of those three guys? Which of those four guys? Which one doesn't belong? One <laughs> <laughs> things is not like the other. One of these things is not the same. But remember, this only goes back to 97. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a quick little, so people Wait. can get a little visual of the people she cheated I on. like that it has the start date 2000, which doesn't even cor correlate with it just said. Right. <laughs> it's so fluid. Right. <laughs> this is definitely not 2003. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is 97, 98. Let's go with 2000. Like, let's just, let's just say that that's the timeline here. <laughs> These are literally people she dated within like three years. That's it. But, but nonetheless, she cheated on every single one of them. No one. Let's continue. <laughs> that was like the dude from Tommy, right? You're in your twenties. Yeah. You were 
You, I was always in. Um, did you think of it as cheating? Oh, yeah. I knew I was cheating. I was sneaky about it. Um, How would you cheat? Like what would ha- like, like what? Tell me like the time you remember the last time you I, cheated. I don't want to. I, I I don't. That was so long ago and it's so irrelevant. But um, and probably not cool to the guy I was cheating on. Yeah, so. but they weren't cool to you. Let's let's listen, qualify. Listen. Yes, oh, of course, to their level. Clarify, and, that's yeah. okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to go to their level because they were the ones that weren't cool with me. So that's right. Uh, right. So, the service had a new guy that was going to pay a little more money for the experience. Okay. <laughs> Can you even? Seriously, can you even? No, I can't. I mean, honestly, it's like sorry, Ethan. Your credit report came back, and you know, yep, you, too bad. You, you gotta be over six hundred. I'm sorry, your uh, your credit card, your credit oh, card is so saying over limit. We can't. We sorry, we can't continue. Sorry, Brian. Holt, the date ends, uh, the date ends now. Too much in debt in credit cards. <laughs> I mean. I'm sure you guys remember that I had taken a picture off of my screen of uh, the guy that she was dating that was in the Gilded Age. And he's extremely tiny. I I can't even imagine what it was, you know. Oh, that guy? Yeah, this guy. This little. He was a consistently working actor. I think that was the draw. Well, he's on Broadway. He was like a very big. You know, she wanted to be in those circles. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's That's what it comes down to. Does he ever get married? If I may ask, my I don't what? think so. Yeah, that's kind of strange. You never found the right girl, huh? Never found the right girl. Oh, that's well, right, strange. Yeah. Always one waiting right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Because she had good reason. To be really good. Now you're just a cheater. I'm sorry. He's sticking out for me. Hey, Benji. So far, good news. Oprah's on the phone. She wants to sign you up for a. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I, uh, well, but so was cheating about. Hey, the cheat. Okay, I won't call it cheating. I won't call it cheating. She's the one who came out with it. Yeah, she's a cheating. Decided to choose that as her opening uh, party to do his. So edgy. With her. But now the fact that he wants to continue the conversation when she says that how is the only person she's never cheated on in her entire life. But please don't go on about the cheating thing. Let's no, move. no, that's no, nothing. Nothing big here to see. Nothing to see here. Oh damn it! Was it my but, but sex in your twenties? Was it a physical thing when you were with a new guy, or was it like it was only in your twenties? Stupid! You met how when you were how old? Twenty six, twenty seven? Uh, yeah, somewhere in that range. Yeah, it's got it's all very 25. fluid. It's very 25, 20, whatever. In your twenties, so yeah, of course this is the time. Twenty one, twenty two, somewhere I, in there. Yeah. I love this guy. He will. Was it? Was it you ever it was about, about lust? No, it was about getting back on the my boyfriend who wronged me. Did you so? Did you let them know, or was it just like a personal hot? No, never. I was very sneaky about it. And would it be like a one-time kind of thing, or would it be a? It depended mo- on if I what it, each situation was different. If, I didn't have a million relationships. I was a quote unquote monogamous. I was always in a relationship, and right. then I, so you wouldn't call it monogamous, but I was always in a relationship. So with this, yeah, you weren't monogamous, you bitch. You were not monogamous it, it, it sounds like it was almost like sugar daddies to help pay the rent i was constantly in relationships i, that's I think she thinks monogamy is a like. type of wood yeah. is it thousands and thousands is of it, guys is it ex- was it even though i know you think it's okay it, now we're getting i know you thought <laughs> now we're getting we're what? boring a whole <laughs> i know you oh, hold on let me check with and we've hit the center of the fucking earth oh robin stop robin, it robin let me stop. Stop. Oh. So boring. Jeez, hold on it's man. absolutely not i'm <laughs> Tell Thank you, Brian. Uh, what you th- well, as an audience member, are you enjoying the Benji interview? Hey, now, good morning, Howard. Good morning. This is going terribly wrong. I feel horrible for your See, wife. I love uh, this. It's not, Matt. It's really not. I, I want to keep going. So, <laughs> well, I when it, it stop off. it, Matt. Just, Matt I, I'm controlling. Uh, All right, I, I, okay, Matt, fair enough. That's All enough. Right. Right. Now, people. <laughs> Robin, I know it. you think it's like you know. Robin, you shut up! Room, shut up! Was, I'm talking out. No, shut like, up! You guys could go call each other on the phone. <laughs> like badgering the witness. Right. All right. Go ahead, Benji. Go ahead. Let's, Robin. Please, I don't want to be accused of interrupting. Just think. read the fucking internet. I you have the fucking computer in front of you. you. Oh, sorry, Benji. Go ahead. We just have, all right. A few more minutes. Go all right. All right. Yeah. I know. Gee, how are you holding up during the? I event? think I'm doing okay. Okay. Fine. You look really cute. By the way, so do you. This book is so 
physically beautiful. Thank the you. colors, Thank everything. You. It's just like, it's so happy. I it really it. makes me happy. Just like, look, I've looked at the picture like a million times. Yeah, no, the guy, Devin Crane, incredible illustrator. We had to rush this book. I pitched this idea to Simon & Schuster. I think it was August 18th. It's November, what is it, 19th, 18th, 19th. Right. And it's three months from start to finish. It didn't take rocket science to no, no. To, to put this book. And down. literally, this illustrator is just like, well, shit, it's a children's book, bright colors. Okay, easy enough. Bright yeah, colors. If you're not aware of Devin Crane. Devin Crane, um, you know, as 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 you will see from the Benjamin deep dive into into Devin, is very um, is very big on a lot of like very sexy uh, parts yes. and you know a lot of like naked women and and stuff like that. So yes. this is very much what Devin is. Uh, so wait, why would why is this the guy you find to illustrate your children's book? You know, that's a really, really good question. And I, I have a feeling find out. I have a feeling that it may work have worked for Devin at one time. Yes. In what in as a mo as a motto. Or yeah, but you, know you don't really need models. Well, maybe he said he needed a motto. <laughs> you don't need models for cartoon work, but well, he's very, uh, you know, his, his, his gold card. His gold card went through. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, it totally looks like Playboy cartoons. You're right, Dorian Morgan. Well, it, it, Playboy cartoons. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it totally looks like that stuff. Thank Happy you. children cool. like it, Benji. I, I like it. it. Captures Yoda's. Well, we said children soul <laughs> too. Yeah, His eyes. Soul. I feel those are Yoda's eyes when I look at the cover. Of Mine the book. too. They look like your eyes yes. too. <laughs> you and Yoda. Every time you look at this. Yoda, oh boy. <laughs> think of oh boy. Benji. Oh boy. Right, Benji. Please, wow. you got I know you thought you, it's not something you're proud of, but was it exciting? What when you were with other men? Uh. I, Benji, that was so long ago. Sure, that's exciting. Do you it was so long ago? And you know what? Okay, so if you if you commit to one person when you're like twenty five, let's go with twenty. Let's let's go with thirty. Let's go with thirty. I uh, just 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 to way too late, up. but okay. And it's twenty five years from now, right? Uh, and yes. you'll remember the relationships you had before the one person that you're with. For all that time, you remember Correct. those relationships because you don't have anything else to look back on other than this one long term relationship and then everything that went before it. So the Correct. Fact that she again starts the conversation, starts the conversation. Benji's trying to finish the conversation. And now she's getting a little upset with the fact that she, she can't even imagine that he wants to continue a conversation about the fact that she has cheated on everybody. What happens is that it, 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 it you know, because it isn't very bright, it kind of did something to be shocking, but then did not realize that Benji's smart enough to keep going to the mine and digging and digging and what? digging because cool. there's damn gold down there. In the what bottom. How could you not? How could you not? When is when you're with Howard, is it about love or is it do you ever lust for Howard? I I am so in love with Howard. And when mm. we're together, I think it's mm -hmm. past that point where we're just we have a ma a beautiful life together. It's love. It's love. And there is the sexual aspect to it that just enhances the core love that's there. Do you, do you like sex? I love it. We we do really well in that department. What's what what does mean? What does that mean? Doing well, we just connect beautifully. Don't look at me. I, this is your. Uh, okay. yeah. I, I, wow. You look sweet now. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're interviewing <laughs> Beth. What are you worried about? Howard me? Has you, said, know, you know what's freaking you out that I'm leaving you alone? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it was. I was. I was. I did have a fantasy of you just saying, fuck this. It's over. No, I that told you. you. I'm I allowing you, had you to a do list it. list of questions. No, I said I wasn't going to do this. Bobo, how is Benji doing? I, when, is, when you're with Howard, is it about love or is it, do you ever lust for Howard? I I am so in love with Howard, and when we're together, I think it's past that point where we're just we have a ma a beautiful life together. It's love, it's love, and there is the sexual aspect to it that just enhances the core love that's there. 
Do you, do you like sex? I love it. We wow. we do really well in that department. What's what what does mean what does that mean doing well? We just connect beautifully. Don't look at me. I just that was weird. Yeah, what are you that was really weird? You really look sweet now. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think that the only thing that the thing that Benji's trying to do I've not been offended offended once. Right, cool. Where are we going with this? I feel like a do I it. should be the it's judge in a trial. Right. Leave him alone. Come on, Robin. Give me Did you know that she can do her own breasts that she licks them all the time? Oh, here we go. Hmm. She, she Robin can lick them all the time. I didn't know that. Yeah. But that's interesting. Benji, she ahead, brings that up every day on the show. Oh, go right. Go ahead, Benji. <laughs> She's probably doing it right now when your back's turned. <laughs> oh, Benji. <laughs> Early on in your relationship, that, that first day, you guys met at the party. Yeah. Howard called you over in the morning. You guys came over. Was that the first kiss? No, it was, I believe, a couple days after that. Do you remember where? I do. Where, where it was, was right it? outside of his apartment door. He was saying goodbye to me. I'm sorry, they didn't kiss? Yeah, this <sighs> is... Well, I, I I guess I had to do a credit check. And, and no, no, no. Let's, let's, you know what's so you know, weird, though? That's weird. I was, I was thinking about her answer, and it sounds very similar like when they asked Bill Clinton while he was, did you have sex with Monica Lewinsky? I did and not. He did all sexual relations with Yeah, that. he totally danced around it to, you know, to try it to kind of cover stuff. And that was very similar to what she did. She, she did everything to kind of like say she did without doing it. You know, yeah, no, I'm on this now. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm. No, no, so yeah, 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 yeah. I just oh, what do you mean that when they met and they didn't kiss for three days, <laughs> they had such kismet that oh, they didn't kiss. Come for three over days? the next morning. Yes, I had to check with the audience. Bobo likes it. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> I, I'm asking things that I find the most interesting, Good. but I don't want to be. <laughs> offensive at all. I've uh -oh. not been offended offended once. Right, cool. Where are we going with this? I feel like a Let him do I it. should be the judge in a trial. <laughs> right. Leave him alone. Come on, Robin. Give <laughs> Did you know that she can do her own breasts? That she licks them oh, all the time? Oh, here we go. Hmm. She, she, Robin can lick them all the time. I didn't know that. Yeah. But that's interesting. <laughs> Benji, she ahead, brings that up Benji. every day go on ahead. the show. Oh, go ahead. Right. Go ahead, Benji. <laughs> She's probably doing it right now when your back's turned. <laughs> oh, Benji. <laughs> Early on in your relationship, that that first day, you guys met at the party. Yeah. Howard called you over in the morning. You guys came over. Was that the first kiss? No, it was. No. I believe a couple days after that. Do you remember where? I where, do. Where it was, was it? right outside of his apartment door. He was saying goodbye to me, and he leaned in for a kiss, and I smiled so big that he literally kissed my teeth, <laughs> and I got really embarrassed, and so I turned, and I ran down the hallway to get the elevator. Oh, really? And he was just standing there, and the elevator didn't come, and I just saw him standing there looking at me like, what the heck was that? <laughs> That's very sweet. And then I remember the next day, he came over to my apartment, and we put on my boom box, and we- What? Thank you, Jeremy Harrelson. To all the honey cool. getting money playing wiggers like yeah. that. <laughs> um, yeah. Talk to pieces. Um, and he came over to her apartment. Uh, this is all this is so fucking strange. I, I mean, really, there's no other way to describe it. It's fucking strange. There's nothing normal about this. Everything about this is insane. But they listened to his boom box, her boom box, her boom box. Yeah. Yeah, it it had a boombox. Um, okay. So did L L Cool J? And we slow danced. Yeah. And that was like our Do you remember real... the song? Was it Toad the Wet Sprocket or? No, it was uh, that that music you like that I can't stand. Oh yeah, what was that? Bell and Sebastian. Yeah, I never heard of it. We days. made out like beautifully, very hot and heavy to Bell and Sebastian, but we did not have sex until two weeks after from the first day that we met. Did you? Was that a? a did, were you always like, I don't want to rush into sex? Is that a careful? Thing? No, I think I was, I definitely was saying, I, I think I wanted it more than he did. No, I think he wanted what? it. But I think he wanted it, but I think that you were holding back because you liked how hot it was, us not. You told oh, me right. you didn't want and then, sex. And then when we went to the Hamptons, you wanted to, and I was um, carrying on. I so did, but I right. think that was, I was being. How was the first time? So they went to the Hamptons within two weeks of meeting each other, but they mm. didn't have sex still. Still, mm. Mm. I, I, you know, they, 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 there's a statement that came out. Oh, Howard, you're a sucker. Yeah. 
Sucker pain. Yeah, it sounds like wow, this is the long grift. You got, I mean, wow. But too bad, it, you know, it couldn't make any babies like um, no, what's her name want, did uh, with uh, Seinfeld. He didn't want babies. That's why he, I know that's what the thing, but he, he couldn't. Dennis. I know, but it wanted want, that because it, like it could be like Hilaria. <laughs> <laughs> or what's the other one? The one that um, oh, uh, was a good one. Hilaria is a good one. That's, yeah, but the other one that was uh, its friend that dumped when it got divorced and it has cookbooks out. Katie and Lee? what? Katie Lee had no baby. Katie though. Lee, no Katie Lee Joel. But yeah, but but Katie Lee Joel be married and got pregnant right away because yes. she thought, nobody wants to troll baby. Let's be honest. Exactly. Nobody wants to troll baby. That's that's yeah. She's another one who was like 22 years old hanging out at the Peninsula Hotel meeting Billy Joel. There's yeah, no yeah. two year olds hanging out at the Peninsula Hotel. I, I, bet, I, I, I have bet a theory about the two yeah. weeks. The wealthy the, guy. Yeah, I, got I, have a, I have a theory about the two weeks. It took Costco two weeks to deliver that condom safe to his house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue on, shall we? Oh my gosh, we were at Dominic's house in Shelter Island. And once we started, we didn't stop. I think we were in every room, on every counter, on everything. <laughs> Howard said, and I'm going to put this like in a nice way, like Howard said he's not good at oral, that, that he knows there's a, a there's a nubbin on top. And he knows. Uh, what? Just... <laughs> oh, you know, Howard's just fine in that department. Is he really? I think he's just playing it on the air for fun. He doesn't so, like it. You think he okay? All right. Yeah, he's great and everything. Early on he's in the relationship, was it? Did you feel it was leading to marriage at the beginning? I never wanted to get married ever. Um, <laughs> the day that I met Howard and we connected, I knew that there was something different. And after I, yeah, think, yeah, I wonder what it was. <laughs> Nineteen room apartment on the top of. Uh, yeah. great. that's what was different. That's the bank account. <laughs> Anyhow, a few hundred million in the bank account will do that. <laughs> bank account. Of course it is. I think a couple days, I knew he was the guy that I wanted to be oh, with forever. But I never true. intended it to end to ha ha marriage being an outcome. I, I think at the beginning, for it seems to me that Howard wasn't, did, it, he, there was things. <laughs> <Spit> that, <it laughs> out. <laughs> there were things at the beginning that. That maybe he was, I don't know, that was, was he fully into it? Like, he ta he's talked about on the air at the beginning, there were, like, you guys, probably only a couple times, it would go to strip clubs. Mm -hmm. There was there was a thing, like, with Stamos and Rebecca Romaine mm -hmm. that he's talked about. But to me, that must have been a turning point in the relationship. Um, I think when all of those things were presented to us, and that wasn't the only incident, um, we just realized, wow, we just were, we, we kind of looked at each other for, for safety, and it just felt safe being just the two of us together, and that's how it just continued. We didn't need any of that outside stuff. Going to the strip clubs when we first started dating was hot and fun, and I was just as into it as he was. That was just sure, part of a build of that. a relationship. Now, do I have any desire to go to a strip club with Howard? Not at all. That's so not mm. what it's about. Our life is home and love and nurture and respect. And going to strip club means absolutely nothing to me. All right. There it is. The Benji interview. Uh, wow. Robin. Uh, 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 you cut me off. I was boring. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I, I'm I, glad it's over. You really are, Robin. Uh, is it over? I, 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 well, I don't know. How much longer do you want to go? You it's cut, up to you. Honey, you cut me off. Uh, that's yeah. that's I weird. Did, I did. I, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking, and, t and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You want to promote the book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, the book. Well, I got a plug for that. Oh, go ahead. All right, Bench. Go ahead. And it really is. You got to go look at a picture of it on the internet because it's, it's just such a pretty picture. There are little excerpts from the book on Amazon and Barnes and Noble that you could actually see if you even going to. They even tested it. it on children and only three children were scared. Oh, and Robin read it. That's right. <laughs> For doing Cabin. this, is it important to you that people do you get. Do you want people to know that you're the one doing it? Is that important at all? Do you get a sense of love from that? Uh, from other people? I get a sense of love from the animals that are looking at me that I'm helping to save. It's really, I feel my purpose when I'm looking in the eyes of an animal. It's to do with people. I prefer the anim an animal looking at me than a person other than my husband. But so, so, and I don't think there's anything, I think what you're doing is incredible. I wouldn't think there's anything wrong if you do. Do you enjoy being known as the person that does this? I feel very fortunate that I'm, I'm able to 
share my mission and what I'm doing because I feel that I'm yeah. encouraging other people to to do just a little something. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so then P.S. After this is over, Rachel Ray comes in and donates half a million dollars from yeah. her nutrition or whatever the person garbage, yeah. from her garbage food and she was going on to rachel ray's show right uh, they were going to lunch and then i think she was going on the show and then she was going to i, I want to go back to that answer for a second about you know not wanting anybody to know or look at it um this is also the same um person that goes to made sure it was on every red carpet it could find in new york with its bag out in front of it to, sh to be noticed that it was there i mean and this is during the same time period where it was everywhere remember there's all the stock photos for that time yeah, any yes, any yeah. premiere it was yeah. there yes any premiere so this yeah. is such a nonsense answer i mean Good God. Which, which answer are we talking about? Uh, one about, you know, not uh, Benji asked uh, Beth, you know, do you want people to know that you wrote this book? You know, had the notoriety that you did this. And it's like, no, I want the animos. Mm. I want the animos to look at me, not the people. Because she cares about animals more than animos. Yeah, what? look at it right there. It's a good picture. Hang on. <laughs> oh, God, it looks it looks demonic. Oh, jeez. Oof. <laughs> wow. That, she, you know what? She looks like uh, Jack Nicholson in The Shining when she goes, yes, Hey, Lloyd, how about a drink? <laughs> yeah, same day. That is yeah. scary, man. Care of the dog to bit you, Lloyd. <laughs> That's a dog. Uh, same wow. day. Same day. Yes, 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 yes. So... Yeah, so that's the same day that she did that. And then <laughs> she went to, um, oh, my goodness. So then, uh, so then after that, she went to this AOL thing. So she got changed. She went to AOL. Uh, of course, I was in the audience. Was GeoCities not available? Yeah, this is very funny, actually. I, I really appreciate this uh, AOL build, you know, <laughs> AOL. How's AOL doing right now? Yeah, exactly. Oh. How's that working out? They thought they were, you know, still like future driven and that they were doing all these um, Q and A's and stuff like that. And, you know, it was a way to bring new people into the AOL fold and whatever. <laughs> and, 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 so they, well, and so, yeah. And so who they brought in was Let's gay, prodigy. Beef, beef is so stern. Well, the funny part about it. So, you know, I got there. I had to get back to work, but you know, you, you're committed to being there for like a half hour. Uh, you have to sign this paperwork that says that they can put you on air or, you know, put your visual and whatever. Um, and I got the first question out after, um, mm -hmm. Whitney, you know, threw it to the audience and then, no, and then nobody had a question. And so, um, wait, what was the question? Hang on, you're gonna hear. We're gonna see it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be it's right here. That's where the heart problem started yeah. from. But you can go to a shelter, and if you have your heart set on a purebred, 25% of all shelters have their purebreds in yeah, there. Yeah, so you yeah. can go to your local shelter and no, get a fancy, yeah, fancy not dog. Not every animal in shelters are mutts, Oof. you know, random breeds. So what's better than? Mud agrees or um, pit bulls that get uh, such a bad rap the and best. they're so sweet. It's just like open your a, heart, take a chance. Like you would never put, you would never bring a pit bull into your house, you asshole. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh -huh. Um, will you guys Nicholas. have summer shows? Yes, we will absolutely have summer shows. Um, I'm working on what those are gonna be now. That's that, that's actually a lie. I'm Come not on. On there's more to it. Um what? Oh, okay. I cannot handle no Dennis. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, I wonder why. Thanks, Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah, you guys have summer shows. K-O-O-E. That's all I <laughs> You got to interpret things. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. Hang on. Birds are going to get <laughs> the best. The best. I know. Go You're Yoda. I love you. Go Yoda. I think at some point I would love to keep embarrassing Beth and, and ruining her classy reputation, but does, <laughs> I think we're going to take questions at some point. Yes, we are. You bitch. Is that right? Am I doing this? Am I, you know, I took all the strength. I, okay, wait, hang on. Fire? You are funny. so good. Whitney. Am I doing okay? Okay. So we're going to take questions. Is that right? 
Okay. What a retard. Here we go. Hang on. How do I look? Like you look whore. Am I supposed to be do doing something? Or you're giving them a thing. All right. So now it's your problem. <laughs> I'm doing my job. All right, here she comes. Questions, to me. questions. Great. Hi. Make it a good one. Okay. I was just wondering how close are you to building the kitty center? I, I, you know, I took all the strength I had to not say Kitty Cancer Ranch because that's what we used to call it. <laughs> Still during that time period. But literally, it had been a fucking moment and the thing was still not built. So, of course, here's what she comes out with. Um, well, this morning, Rachel Ray just handed me a check on my husband's radio show for $500,000. My husband's radio show. And that's not the answer. No, that's amazing. <laughs> um, over the course of the last year, I think it was a year ago. That it's just the worst. A good one. It's just okay, the worst just underbite. How close are you to building the kitty center? Um, well, this morning, Rachel Ray just handed me a check on my husband's radio show for $500,000. Look, look at the face on her. Oof. Uh, this is her looking at me. Yeah, like, why are you questioning me, plebeian? Legit. She's about to give you one of those fox. <clears throat> This is her looking at me. That's me asking the question. This is this fucking bitch. Oh, wait, wait, Monique. You know what that reminds me of? With the, the assistant wanting the puppy. <laughs> yeah, oh, totally. She would have totally given look. you the elbow right there if she could have. Same look. Yeah. Same look. That's amazing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Over the course of the last year, I think it was a year ago that we came up with this idea, we were... Project, we need $7 million. We're over halfway there. So we are on target to break ground uh, at the end of next spring. <laughs> dealing with permits. So I'm <laughs> really excited. Thank you. I also asking. wrote a check for $500,000, <laughs> but it bounced. <laughs> but I wrote it. You wrote it. So now, okay, you know that Monique was going to be the first one to ask a question. And let's see yeah. if anybody else has a question. <laughs> you wrote it. Who are you? Go, go. Come on, more questions. There's one right here. Hi, good morning. Um, I use North Shore Animal League exclusively for my dogs. I have two Siberian Huskies that are rescues, one from Kentucky. It was a big, long story, but I use them exclusively for their veterinary care. And with the facility, are you talking about where they have the, um, it's pretty open now. They have that whole open. Blah, blah, blah. And, you know. And, are you serious? And this is the same conversation where she talked about how she has dogs driven. and puppy mix and uh, animals see. and rescuing. And after about six weeks, I two summers ago, there was like a deer. We, we saw like a deer in the road. Oh, yeah. And when she sees an animal in danger, she goes from like beautiful angel to like badass mafia bitch. She was like, stop the car. And like, you're like, I was like, oh my God. Like, it was crazy. Well, it's incredible when you can save one. I mean, a lot of times we, I haven't had good luck or I've, it's been just a little too late. But when you can save an animal in the wild, it is such an incredible. Oh, you're such a moron. You know, deer are actually the number one cause for like car accidents in Pennsylvania. And, and, yeah, they, the number one animal fatalities too, because uh, they're big and they can kill people. And they're stupid. Feeling. And they're stupid beautiful and well, that's what i say if you see a hurt animal on the side of the road like a worm <laughs> or on, in your lawn you can make a phone call and there are re local rehab centers that you can call and oh yeah come. because everybody's coming out for a fucking deer on the side absolutely or worm worm yeah. rehab yards and i take or seagull and transport them to careful the you start faking finding <laughs> harmed animals just yeah, so that just you'll show up <laughs> howard's my driver because i don't drive i haven't driven a car in 25 years <laughs> wait a minute of driving <laughs> so whenever i get a bird Ow. or a squirrel or whatever to transport i'm in the back seat with with my kit with my in the box and now we're driving me can you imagine will you, you please put a camera in that car <laughs> can you imagine oh my god it's so fucking cute wait a minute so this is what 2014 yeah all right so 25 years ago is 1989 okay it, it's like 17 years old at the or 18 years old at that point so that means you like never really drove. Yeah. What did it, she say? What, what? Yeah, twenty five years at this point? A really good point. I mean, oh, it's not even come to you. That's what I do. I go to the people's yards and I take the animal and transport them to. Careful! The I think people are going to start faking finding <laughs> in the back seat with with my. 
25 years. <laughs> To the 25 years. And transport them to Careful, the Careful, I think people are going to start faking, finding <laughs> harmed animals just so they uh -huh. <laughs> Howard's my driver because I don't drive. I haven't driven a car in 25 years. Okay, it's, for, it, it's, it's allegedly 42 at this point, right? Or, or, or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. 25 years back is 17. Most of us no, get not. our license hey, no, at 17. No, it's hmm? not. Yes, no, it is. It's 27. Yes, it is. 27. 25, 42 minus 25 is 17. Do the math. 17, 18, 19, Plus, 22, 22. You have to use 30, your fingers. That's 32. 17. No, no. 32 is 15 years. Oh, 42 is this? 25 years. Remember, it. I'm a finance guy. 41. I do numbers. Minus 25. Wait, she's 41 at this point? 41 or 42. Yeah. I, think, I think that is being generous, actually. <laughs> Sunflower Dragon, thank you so much. The chubby blonde lady in the audience is Karan. She's the lady who gave Benji hair and gave medicated Pete hair. She was on the show a few times. Really? Dun, dun, dun. Wait, wait. So she donated what? I don't know. Uh, she, hair? What do you mean by hair? Now help us explain that. I'm, I'm, you keep, I, I Thank you for the $5. Now I'm confused. I, I guess I have no idea. <laughs> I'm afraid of driving. <laughs> Which means she got her permit and then probably never got a like, bird. She probably got her license. And just and never then, or a squirrel or whatever to transport. <laughs> right, I, I, I gotta get it. By the way, orange is not very flattering to her complexion. Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't know Nick about that stuff, but man, I don't know. It just seems kind of a little drowny. It's a little what drowny. color? What? So, so Xavier, what color looks good on it? I don't know what color were the burkas she had to wear in the Middle East. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys took note of the. Uh... Oh God, I'm looking at the stupid screenshot because it's just so delicious. Ah! Um. So the green isn't good thumbnail, either. The thumbnail from today which was uh, kindly done by Bobble Bowie for our show today. And he's like, oh, my God, the reason I have that is because of this. And is this not exactly who they are? <laughs> oh, my God. Classic. How <laughs> classic is that, you guys? How classic. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? What, a, what an inspiration. Like, oh, my God, that's so so delicious. And then for those of you who really need to see the Devin Crane Yoda trilogy, I'm going to start you with the first one and then we'll see where we uh, where we go from this. So, so this is from uh, Benjamin and Benjamin Sorry. is a brilliant guy who used to be on our show. Um, he sadly went to the dark side and um and quite frankly, you know, left us and and went on his own. But he was brilliant, and he was brilliant at putting together things. And so, so these are all Devin Crane artwork, just so you know. So this is his version of the Yoda book, as done by Devin Crane with the, the real artwork that he would do. Ben and Schuster presents Yoda, the story <laughs> of a cat and his kittens. By Beth Stern with K.A. Allister, illustrated by Devin Crane, and read by me, Robin Quivers. <laughs> Yoda was a Persian kitten. Perky ears, smiling eyes, long fluffy tail, pretty fur. <laughs> he used to have dreams about climbing trees catching mice, and becoming a <laughs> super cat. But then Yoda's owner didn't want to care for him anymore, and he was taken to an animal shelter. <laughs> Yoda watched as the other cats and kittens were adopted. Right, because nobody wants a purebred. Goodbye, peaches. Tuesday. So long, Maxine. And on Wednesday... Someone even picked up Stanley, the one with the stinky breath. Seriously, someone needs to get that cat a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Would ever choose him. 
Nobody wants the person. Her so dirty, it had to be shaved. He felt naked. <laughs> Plenty of food, yet he never felt like eating. He was as skinny as a string bean. But one Saturday, <laughs> a named Beth came out to the shelter, and she chose Yoda. <laughs> had she been tricked? Couldn't she see he wasn't as clever as Peaches or as cuddly as Maxine? Maybe. <laughs> Trying to figure this out made Yoda extra tired. He closed his eyes. <laughs> when Yoda woke up, he thought he was in a dream. Yeah, look at that. Look at, look at wow. that. Look at that. Yeah, as amazing as his new home was, <laughs> something was missing. If only Yoda could hey, put you, on it. <laughs> Beth was worried. She <laughs> the doctor. After he listened to Yoda's heart, he said, Yoda has a sad heart. <laughs> you know, honestly, how could she not write this? Like, it's the most ridiculous words in a book that you can. I think it that. gave the actual oh. author the ideas, the bullet yeah. points, and yeah. they tried to make a story out of it as yeah. hard as he could. Yes. This is a tough one. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Back at home, Yoda was still feeling blue when all of a sudden, crash! Meow, meow, meow! <laughs> What's that, he wondered. <laughs> Wait, this is great. Scratch, scratch. The door opened and Beth came out. <laughs> she smiled at Yoda and waved him inside. Uh-oh. It was all beginning to sink in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe this was why she had chosen him at the shelter. <laughs> this is great. Yoda put on his bravest face and marched into the room. <laughs> Touch it. Touch it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this oh, dear parts, Lord. I'm not gonna play them all, but uh, we should probably should. But I'm not gonna because the second one gets better. Oh my God. Save it for the so summer. So sunflower, yeah, we have all summer. Sunflower dragon explained, but another five dollars and explained uh, the Benji hair thing. Um, when Benji had that wig and eye makeup that time, that lady did hair systems. She did a Eli Elise's hair system also. And interesting that she was a crowd question. So the person asked about the North Shore Animal League. And the two dogs was actually that person. Oh, that's interesting. The one that said that she uses uh, North Shore Animal League almost exclusively. Yes. yes. That's question after mine. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Remember, she had that wig and eye makeup done that time. That lady did the hair system. She yes. also, Lisa's hair also interesting. She was a cry. Yeah. I, where do these people come from? How are they even? I mean, I knew. A, why did I know about it? I don't know why I knew about it. Why I, I don't know either because this is. That's like an odd thing to actually throw myself into. But they were looking for people to come to it. You know, there was oh, no. I mean, like, like we the really anniversary show? <laughs> the birthday we show? Really to go to it. So, yeah, they were actually looking for people. Um, yeah, we'll do the other two Yodas at some oh, other sorry. point. I'm going to save this for us for another day. We'll come back to that. Um, yeah. I found another amazing Benjamin thing. I just wanted to throw out there really quickly. And um, we've talked about this a million times and it's the Howard Stern love set. How, you know, remember I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find it. Yeah. Where did you find it? How did you find it? I was looking for the Yoda thing and this came up. So this is 
again, this is a brilliant Benjamin. And so Benjamin took all the pictures that Howard has done with all the people that have come in. And it is the same picture, same hair, same curl, once. same everything, every single time. Well, it's not the same hair. The hair does change because different but, weeks for different days. Babe, when he's sitting there, though, those curls in the front there are pretty accurate. Standing, maybe not so much, but yeah. But this is this is him. This is, this is it's Howard. the same look though. It literally. It, who's he smiling with there? Because he actually smiles once. That's really hard to pause this thing because yeah, I know. Uh, you know so he, many of those love sets. The love sets. That's what they're called. We call them the Howard Stern love sets. And well, you know they're taken from Jason, and Jason's up on like a, a little ladder so that he gets like just the right shot of Howard. It has to be just right. Every curl is manufactured. Everything about oh, well, I mean, if you go back to the Gary Busey video, it yeah. looks like his hair in the front is still there. Yeah, but he's got the <clears throat> got the hair yamaka. Um, <laughs> <blue band. laughs> I mean, that's what it looks like. I mean, every single hair at this point. It's a system. It's a system. it's a whole system. There's a lot going on there. So after that, they went to the. Uh, I think John Stewart came in after that. So right. So here's a show. Like they used to do shows. So they had Beth in early. Then they had Rachel Ray come in. Then they had John Stewart come in. So it was like a classic Howard back in the day mm -hmm. kind of show. So what's interesting I noticed is that the wrap up show now actually has clips of the Stern show, but back then they didn't used to do that. We were the only ones that had like clips from the Stern show. The wrap up show never had clips of the show. Really? Wrapping up. Never. They never did it until maybe about two years ago. And, yes. um, so classic wrap up show. They're all praising. I mean, this is, you know, the most exciting thing that's happened to them oh, uh, since Jesus left the Jews. And absolutely. They, they were just amazed, you know, that uh, that Benji recommended this. So then, of course, people started calling in. Let me see if I have any of those. Give me a second. Here. Guys, good morning. Good morning, Jennifer. I, I Benji, I have to say I really enjoyed the interview. I know, you know, a lot of people in your position would have been really nervous. I was nervous. And I, you could kind of tell, but you did really, really well. And I wanted to say, you know, about the Robin thing, I think sometimes she's really, really negative um, with everyone else but um, Howard and, you know, like with you. And she's just too critical and she puts too much pressure on you. And, you know, right in the beginning, she was saying how bad it was going to be. But on the on the one hand, like John said, in a way that could help me. I don't. I don't think she was trying to do that. But you literally think that he was interviewing the Queen of England. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, this is gonna suck so bad. So anything can be okay. I, I don't like a lot of things that Robin said about this, but I do appreciate her, and I really appreciate her being. I don't know. It's not exactly her show. It's Howard's show. So, but I really feel like everyone there gave me an opportunity, and that that I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. There's always knee jerk ball breaking on the show. Yeah. And so if Howard says, "How do you think it's gonna be?" Did you expect Robin to say, well, I think Ben's just going to do a pretty good job. You know, he looks good and he's here early. And I think uh, he looks like he's done a lot of prep. I mean, it's just not the show. It's just sort of that knee jerk break ball. Right. Breaking. Right. Is there anything you would have done differently looking back on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like. Uh... Yeah. OK, so let's move on. Yeah. No, um, yeah, I agree with Benji that Robin did seem a little panicky, like way from the start. Like he barely asked one question and she's saying, no, this is horrible. Um, and I thought maybe it was because she wanted to unnecessarily protect Beth, but Beth held her own. Beth was great. So I don't think it was necessary. And I, I it was obvious to some of us listeners that Robin was, uh, I would use the word cock blocking. <laughs> Um, I don't know if she was cock blocking, but yes, she, she definitely um, she was, she was, she was, she was, before the thing even started. Yeah, so they were like total, like just kissing Benji's ass. This was like the most amazing uh, interview that you know anybody's done. It was so brilliant of you to have that idea, and you know it's so it's so generous of Howard to allow you to do that and to do this interview. But Howard comes off as like the ultimate cuck with this whole thing. Like he oh, really yeah, he's a super cuck. We know that. I'm so excited for her to announce that she had cheated on everybody but him and made him so proud. He was so proud of the fact that he's the only one that he's she's stupid. No, he's so stupid. Don't be stupid. I mean, it's, just, it's, just, stupid. It's, it's just crazy to me that this is the way the show used to be and, and that he was okay with it. Today, that would never happen. Oh, God, no. Oh, dear Lord, no. Never, ever happen. 
Never. I mean, Benji had to make up a whole fake story about um, uh, Woody Allen. I mean, literally had to make up an entire he fake made story, up a whole fake story, which is so bizarre to me. Like, why would he do that? And, but he did. I don't get it. And point out the fact that was the last time she was ever on the show without being, oh, I feel dizzy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That literally the last time. Yeah. How is admitting that you're a cheater? Great. It's not. It's nope. not. I don't know why anybody would share this on the radio. Nobody had to know. It's not like promoting some- a kid's book. Exactly. Yeah. It's not like somebody was coming out of the woodwork saying, "Oh, I'm going to tell everybody that you cheated on me when you were 20." No, it, it volunteered it. That's 100 percent all by itself. You volunteered this information. Volunteered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, I agree with the Drew show. Absolutely, 100. percent You want to that read love it? pit that that love that smitten look in its face? Would you like to read to us what he's talking about for the people on. Podcast? Okay. The, oh, uh, she, Jared, she, right? he uses the she thing uh, 100% slept with her co-host on that decorating show Jared. thing his name was Jared, Jared that guy Jared uh, that that wonderful picture of please you know everybody has a picture with guys why is that never, no, 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 no. you've no, never no, seen no. a bad smile like that before not like She's that smitten. I mean that was smitten she is smitten that. That is there anybody smitten. find one picture Guys are, I got it right here. I got it right here. You guys are crazy. She always smiles like that. No, no, no. This isn't well, okay, smiling. Okay. It's not smiling. That's the best part. It's I'm not sure I can smiling. find like three or four pictures of me smiling. Go for- no, 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 no. This no, is no, not no. smiling. You don't how. ever do this in pictures. Please tell me. You can- All right, we'll take a picture next time you see me. We'll take a picture like this. Okay. Look at that look in its face. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> that That's not smiling. That's- Come hither. <laughs> that's a that's a well, little and howard has admitted that he gets jealous when she like kisses anybody well, king of all blots <laughs> called in and busted howard's balls because of that picture absolutely and yeah. howard was not very he wasn't he wasn't happy about it it looks very satisfied yeah because exactly <laughs> she looks she does she never looks like that with him never and he fits the he fits the brief for the absolutely guy. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, see right celebrity in. with abs, probably. With a, yes, exactly, <laughs> and and not a hair system. <laughs> and doesn't, look like a, doesn't look like know, I don't know that she would cheat on Howard because she <laughs> her bread is buttered, and I. Do you think he'd stop it? Would now I just can't imagine she would. I think it would because it can get away with it. I don't know. Can she? He's home twenty four seven. He really is. No, he wasn't. Evan. No, he wasn't. For the longest time, it was living in the Hamptons, and he was living in the city four yeah, days yeah, a yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a thing for a minute. That was for, for a, a while. Long it was time, the, actually. We go to sleep at six o'clock, and then it became well. Beth was out with uh, Katie Lee, the, uh, you know, for every like it was a series of months and months where she was constantly out on the town. Well, yeah, her home is the Hamptons. Like that is her home. Right. Well, not New York. Listen, listen. Right. I, I, I don't got GPS tracker on her. I'm just going by what he's on radio. <laughs> I mean, she is a child's, uh, you know, children's book author. You know, <laughs> it's it's. Like, can you can you imagine? Wait, if she, can, you imagine tell her. can you imagine if Charles Schultz was promoting a book and said, "Hey, there was that time I gave Betty Page a dirty Sanchez." <laughs> 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 you blockhead. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to review that that uh that little aspect of the Howard Beth relationship and how bizarre I find it that he would be okay with her saying that out loud. Because I can't imagine any man wanting to hear that honestly i mean show of hands no. what man in this audience or anywhere else would want to hear their wife at this point saying that you're the only person that you know yeah well i'll just put it really kind of bluntly no man wants to hear that his current wife is a whore okay because that uh hanley's i mean Thank you, Jeremy. Monique, I agree with what you're getting at. Howard is way too psycho controlling with his paranoia. Looking at the phone records, his army of assistants and investigators for it to ever work. Yeah, I don't see it happening. I think he has her under 
his thumb. I really do. I think. I don't know. That picture says a thousand words. It just says dick. Please. That picture says dick. And yes. Okay. I will agree. So let's just go for argument's sake. Me and Dennis taking a picture together is a quite different story than (laughs) than that. Than that. I'll give you that. (laughs) Come on. That, that, I mean, that, that. <laughs> By the way, Biznick uses that all the time. I know he does. Kills me. kills me every time. It's always a different way of Dennis trying to kill himself while listening to the show. And it's, it's like, absolutely- I'm like, oh. <laughs> I forgot for a minute. I was like, wait, I can get that stupid. I'm thing. like, oh, oh, it's that night. Oh, uh, dear. I had such a good night that night, too. Oh, so much fun. So much so fun. fun. <laughs> uh, all right. So anyway, so that's it. That's what we got for you tonight. Um, we'll probably do another show next week. I will be going north. So I will be in a new venue at some point in the near future. Like, uh, so I wanted to do a show tonight so I can pack up all my shit and get on the road at some point in the near future. Um, hey, and can yeah. I do a footnote real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do a footnote. When, uh, <clears throat> when Yoda kicked the bucket a few years ago. I forgot. He, Yoda the cat, when he passed away, he only, him and Howard's dad died only a few weeks away from each other. But Yoda got this eulogy, and we didn't find out about Ben dying until like Dan's months painful. later, you know, when they when someone in the Penny Saver did an article or something like that. Dan yes. told us in July. So it's this kind of weird dynamic that September. Yoda dies, you know, first Grogu died, then Yoda died. And then it was a whole thing, like Instagram. Like I, I put a link on it on the chat of the her posting when Yoda died, so you can see his deformed nose and shit. You know all this shit. But when Ben died, like she didn't give him even like a little like she. It's her Instagram. She could say, "Hey, you know what? Rest in peace, my Ben. You know, whatever. It's something. It's no. just it's just just a weird dynamic. That's all." Well, I think that that came from Howard. I think that I think that the edict came down on the stern. Still, family. dude, you're an adult, bro. No, that's I mean, weird. It's it. weird. Get it? I get it. I don't know what the reasoning is. I don't know what the rest. Well, we, we, we will never. We never oh, will. We'll no, but uh, yes, of course, of course, the cat is going to get more. Uh, uh, the stupid fat bulldog got more. Yeah. You know, they got tattoos. They got matching tattoos. Yes. In honor yeah. of, of yeah, that. But wait, I mean, wait, wait, you know wait. what though. You know what? When, when, like, over the last forty years, when your dad's been like thirty percent of the content on the show, yeah, you know, with the voices and I stuff, I got better. You, yeah. They got like, come on, man. They got tattoos for Apo the cat. Yes, yes, yes. Think about that. That cat lived like a hot second, and they got tattoos of Apo the cat. But, yeah. but didn't they get the Apple tattoos because they were friends of uh, Jennifer Aniston's boyfriend Justin? But it was for Apo the cat. <laughs> That's a- I know, but there there had to be a reason because some classic trained, you know, tattoo artist is coming to the and house. And he did a terrible apple. Yes, Radio Gaga. Wait, I wanted that up there. Yes, Radio Gaga. Um, I think next week's show is definitely going to be a call-in show because, you know, there's nothing else going on on the show that needs to be noted. So, yes, we we will uh, we will attempt a call-in show next week. Um I can't even remember how I set up the call-in show last week. I see if I can uh, we never do. But, but Dennis will help me through that. And yes, I think that's what we'll do next week, Wednesday. Um, Drew Show, thank you so much for your contribution. Howard will never get another divorce. No. Only consequence of Beth cheating is getting caught. Monique, you dis is true. Yeah, see, it's true. It's, it's never going to happen. She she knows where her... That's right. Pet- it can do whatever it wants. It's, but it's, he's not going to divorce her. He's not. Gonna oh no, no, he won't. He, it will do it. It's taking advantage of it at this point. Yes, Autobot Al. I know I use Google Phone. I just have to figure it out. I have the phone all charged and ready to go, and I got <laughs> stuff on it. So yeah, I'll figure it out before next week. I promise. Um, but yeah, we'll do a call-in show, or we might do a Stern Fan Square Table. So um, if any of you are interested in being a part of a Stern Fan Square Table. Please email me at radiogunk at gmail.com. If we do not do it next week, 
certainly Howard's only working for like maybe three weeks in June. We will get to it during the summer months. So if you're interested in doing this with us again, please email me at radiogunk at gmail.com and I will put you on the list of people that want to radio Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hello? I would love to. I would love to. Oh, I would love for you to be on it. Yes, that would be awesome. Okay, so please just email me. And so I have some contact information for you. And then I'll get in touch when we're ready to do the show. And if you want to talk about different topics that we can do, um, I, I'd be into that as well. All right, Dennis, what do you got going on at DJ's Classic Garage? World oh, Trail. a bunch of neat things. Uh, actually, I, I have a, a video on uh, – it, it doesn't seem exciting if you're not a car guy, but a video on uh, – uh, cooling, keeping your classic car cool and some helpful little tips uh, and tricks. So that's coming out. Um, I do have one I'm working on uh, air conditioning. Uh, I have something really fun planned in the next few weeks. You have something be... fun planned to do with air conditioning? Oh, no, I have. I, I Yeah, I have. Um, I, I have another video that I fun did air conditioning in my car. Are like a thing together? What? The word fun and the word air conditioning in one sentence is an actual thing. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. It's not fun doing air conditioning in car. It sucks. Oh. Um, I, then I have something fun I'm going to be doing uh, that's going to be very interesting. Uh, there may be live streams. It, 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 it'll be it'll be something of uh, fascination. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's going on at DJ's Classic Garage, where I hopefully will have real merch over the summer when my team what? actually has some spare time and can actually do some work for me. When your intrepid assistant gets <laughs> their uh, ass together. And, and, it's right, it's right. and Mo, one more thing. That's it. Ah, and tomorrow marks our eighth anniversary at radiogunk.com. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So it, I'm so glad you mentioned it, that. Eight years ago tomorrow, we, uh, yes. we opened that sucker up. Yes. Memorial Day weekend is absolutely when we do our super fundraiser on radiogunk.com backslash forums. We will... Um, we will be doing our, and again, nothing makes me want to do this more because, you know, the Jerry Lewis telethon thing that Xavier did as Mr. Whiskers is probably one of my all time favorite videos that we have ever done. And damn it, if it doesn't get like struck down every single time I play it, every single time, every single time, and I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I there nobody knows what you're nobody. saying. Nobody. It's just like you need Spock with the Universal Translator for that. Oh, that's it. It's just... I, I like Radio Gaga. Uh, is a uh, little take on <laughs> it. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. A good day. Good day. Good time. A second. If you want to show a coordination, maybe. My God. What a good day. What cat thing. I think it's when the music starts and he says you never walk alone is when um, it. <laughs> but, to, but to hear Xavier sing is a, uh, as Mr. Whiskers is a dream. It's a dream. When you are. <laughs> I can't even play it because I know we're gonna get dinged for it. Yeah, maybe you just skip through it. Maybe you, uh, you know, if you just pull, if you pull the music out from the background, yeah, you can, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that. I'll put it on a uh, radio gunk where it won't get uh, dinged right. on here. They'll definitely come after me. But please go to radiogunk.com in the forum section. We will be doing our our annual Memorial Day Gunkathon. Um, I know, you know, we never really ask for money, but this is like the one time of the year where we will come to you guys and solicit you for a couple of bucks to run the site. It's really more site driven than it is the YouTube thing. Um, Cause we all, Hey, do- we'll, we'll take money on here too, but we'll definitely, <laughs> Uh, Sunflower Dragon is also down with the uh, round Absolutely. Table. Again, radiogunk yes. at gmail.com. Please get in touch with yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. And I will put you on the list, and we will do like four or five people, and we'll pick up a topic, and we'll just chat about it. So, yeah, I'm I'm all into that. All right, my friends. So this was a – it was a very – it was a very good – It was fun. 
it was it was a lot of fun and i thank you all for joining us and for being with us and uh and don't be afraid <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> it's, so it's, bad. it's as awful as you can possibly imagine. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We will see you next week. I will be back in the cool, non-humid air, which I'm completely looking forward to. And please go to Dennis's DJ's Classic Garage, and he'll have some fun things for you coming in the next two weeks or so once he gets his shit together and 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 does that. And uh, and yeah, and we'll see you in on. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks. 